I'm not mad about J. Cole apologizing. If anything, I'm just a bit upset. We all knew that these disses weren't probably anything too serious, but as fans, we do love to see a bit of back and forth when it comes to dissing, if that, you know. And J. Cole kind of reminds me of the Avatar. He likes to keep peace between all nations, and that's cool, but it's just something we weren't expecting to see this quickly, if that makes sense. I could have seen this going on for a short while, maybe even a few months. And even then, like, brothers, they probably come together and make a song together like your average anime seasonal ending. And that would have been cool. That would have been nice. I'm sure everybody probably would have expected that. We're going to watch the video real quick that came out. I think it's about, like, yeah, it's about three minutes from what I see here. And we're going to talk more about it after, so let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Me, right? So I'm so proud of that project. The quality's pretty shitty. I had to, like, find a YouTube video for it. Except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? Right. I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? Yeah, of course. Everybody went crazy after hearing that because uh, everybody wanted either Drake and J. Cole or separately. They wanted both to respond. So, yeah. So all of this time of me moving on my own accord for the first time, I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> right. My niggas like that peer pressure. Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Damn. Text food. So if you were peer pressured into this and this is not something that you do, then why do it? It was still a good song to me. It was still a good song. There's a lot of people who didn't like the diss track, said it could have been better. But honestly, when you think about it, he had about two weeks to respond. Even so, you never know how long it probably took him to make the song real quick and just drop it. Um, but honestly, I think you could have done something better other than just putting out a song. If you're going to apologize for it or regret doing it, it's already out there now. But. The more the, the the worst thing for me is that I have a whole album reaction that I'm still editing that's supposed to come out tomorrow being Tuesday. And it's like I don't even want to release it no more. I don't want to release it. But I'm gonna still do it. That was like two hours out of my time. Uh me and my friend Rosie. So we're still gonna do it. Blooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's war time. Right? <laughs> Niggas wanna see blood. And and I was conflicted because one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So right. I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. Right. So you're not moving on your own accord. You're moving because the world want to see you move. So I mean, that's understandable. I mean, you got other than your friends reaching out to you getting quote unquote thousand missed calls. I mean, you got all j cole fan base you got kendrick fan base you got drake fan base all talking about this all stirring the pot and you just gotta serve at the end of the day so i mean you did your part but at the same time apologizing kind of made the taste a bit bitter if that makes sense it's just i don't know you can't listen to seven minute drill without being like damn he ran his shit without thinking damn but he also apologized <laughs> yeah, you know so i don't know if y'all can feel that but the world want to see blood so i say all of that to say in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back, and I try to right. keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight Got you. is in the midst of me doing that and and in that shit trying to find a little angle and downplay this this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? That's crazy. As respectful as this is, you know, at the same time, it's like your goal was to be above them in a sense, I think. And now it's kind of like you putting Kendrick on that pedestal, on that pedestal. So now you sitting under him. You know what I mean? Your goal was to reach their level and now it's like you just permanently set yourself under them. You know, 
It's crazy though. And then it's like he's, he's sending taking he's sending jabs back, and that's cool. But now you sending jabs with butter knives. You're not doing no damage no more. You know whatever damage that could have been inflicted upon Kendrick from that diss has now resolved into this measly kid punch to an adult. But that's cool. Like I said, it's nothing. I'm sure Kendrick gonna probably address it as well. He gonna probably say some shit because I think he had some beef with Big Sean at some point too. So and like put that in one of his songs. So I think he gonna probably do the same with J. Cole. I wouldn't be surprised. Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come. We up know now. Like, I mean, we always knew, like, but bro, you glazing them at this point. That was the lamest, like goofiest shit. And it make I say all that to say it made me feel like ten years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray. That God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray right. that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. Just like Chris you know Rock. I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep. And then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let hmm. me know how good I've been sleeping for the past... It's funny because like I seen this TikTok earlier today too about like how J Cole was sleeping and he was hearing these Kendrick Lamar things. Like I, if I find the video, I'll probably put it up on here. Or if not, I'll fuck it. You can find it yourself. I'm sure there's many memes of this coming out with J Cole apologizing. But as ups uh, as upsetting as this is to his fan base, it's also very eye opening to the fact that he's putting people on the right. How can I say this? He's being a better leader. He's showing people, the, his followers, he's showing them the better thing to do other than to, you know, con constantly go after something negative, you know, to always show positivity. And to be one of his followers is also cool to see that it's like he's not trying to be anything negative or trying to show any type of animosity towards anybody in a sense to where it's, it's going to look bad. You know, he always want to show the bright side of things and always want to stay positive with his craft. So it's very respectful. Very, it's very respectable. I said respectful. I mean, both, but. That's 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I want to now perform the song. That's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. Love Yours is actually a really great song, but that's just my take on the whole situation. If anything, you know, Drake been leaving like subliminal messages in his captions on Instagram and. I'm sure Cole could have did the same thing, but then again, that's just not who he is. So maybe the best thing for Cole would have been to just stay quiet in this and just ignored it. But we can kind of discuss more of it down in the comments. That's kind of my word on it. To the Madonna fans who's waiting on a video tonight, I got you. It's coming later on tonight, so just be prepared for that. I want to thank you guys for checking out the video. If you can go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're on the road to 700, 750 subscribers for the month. We probably won't make it. Probably will. I don't know. I'm keeping, you know, I'm staying optimistic. But at the same time, I have been slacking on my videos lately. So I'll try to get back on the saddle eventually. I've just been going through a lot when it comes to work and signing up, uh, getting my classes ready for uh, school. So, yeah, a lot's going to be going on in the next few months. But I thank you guys for even deciding to come to my channel, subscribing, even watching my videos. It means a lot. So we shall talk again later. And, yeah, you have a great day. Peace.